Welcome once again to 242 Mathematics. I'm your host Raphael Thompson and today I'm working with Sky Bryce. This is the first of a series of grade 3 GLAT revision tests designed to help your child in the grade 3 mathematics GLAT examination. Let's get started. Okay, Sky, read number one for me. Write the number 200. Read it write, loud, say it loud. Write the numeral 200. Write the numeral 200. Go ahead and write it for us, Sky. Very good. Read number two. Read it loud. A number has a three in the tenth place, a one in the hundredth place, and a, and a five in the ones place. Write the number. A number has a three in the tenth place, a one in the hundredth place, and a five in the ones place. Write this number. How would you work that sky? Go ahead. Work it right here. Put H, put it, capital H for hundreds. Cap, but make it a capital H. Oh, no, leave it, leave it, yeah. And then put T for 10, small t. And a zero, zero, uh, uh, the letter O, the letter O for once. Okay. Now, so there she has placed the, the letters to represent hundreds, tens, and ones. Now listen to me, Sky. A number has a three in the tens place. Where will you put the three? Very good. Listen. A one in the hundreds place. Where will you put the one? And five in the ones place. Where will you put the five? What is that number? 135. Say it louder. 135. Write it on the line. On the line. Put dance on the line there, yeah. Very good, Sky. Okay, read number three. Read it out loud. Draw an S on the s square. Square in the middle. Write the original. Ordinal. Ordinal. Ordinal number for the square. <coughs> Write the With? X on it. Okay, let's read again. Draw an X on the square in the middle. Write. Okay, she's gonna do that first. Very good. Write the ordinal number for the square with the X on it. What's the ordinal number, Sky? It's second, right? Second on the line for me. The small line right there, right? Second. ND. ND at the top. Small N, small N, and small D. See that? That's second. Very good, Sky. Okay, number four, Sky. Read it. The time is one o'clock. Draw the hands on the clock to show the time is five. The time, five hours ago. ago. Okay, the time is one o'clock. Draw the hands on the clock to show the time five hours ago. Go ahead and work it, Sky. So tell me what you're doing. You go to one o'clock and then you move five spaces to the left. So show that for me. Show me how you're gonna do it. Go to one and then count from one. So you go, when you go to 12, say one. One, two, three, four, five. Where do you end up? Where do you end up, Sky? Eight. Okay. Very good, Sky. Excellent job. Okay, Sky, we are number five now. Read the question. Use the graph to answer the following question. And what is the question? How many students are in all four clubs? So it's a graph, a bar graph dealing with students in clubs. And the clubs are science. Point to the science one for me, Sky. And what number would you put for the science? Six. Six students. Go to the sports club. Next, point to the sports club. What number do you put on top of that? Ten. Ten students. Go to the writing club. What number would you put on, on the writing? Five. Why would you put five? Because? Four. It's, no, no, leave it. If five is correct, but when you trace the line across, it's between, halfway between four and six. So it has to be five. Go to the spelling club. What would you put for the spelling club? Four. So those are the numbers you have to add. Add them up, Sky. Twenty-five. Very good. Put dance on the line. Excellent job, Sky. Okay, Sky. Read number six. Write the missing number. Write the missing number, and we have a number line, and the numbers are 
five, ten, 15. the missing number, and then 20 and 25. What's the missing number, Sky? 15. Why? How do you know it's 15? Because we're counted by five. Very good. Put the answer on the line. 15. Go to number seven. Name the shape. What is that shape? A spare. Swear. That's a basketball. Can you spell the word swear? Write it. S P H E R E. Very good. Okay, Sky, we're number eight. What two numbers are we adding? 34. 34 and 20. Go ahead. Tell us what you're doing. What are you adding? I'm adding four. Say it loud. I'm adding four. And zero. Four and zero is four. Tell me the two numbers you're adding. Three and two. Three and two? Yes, sir. What's the answer? Six. No, wait. Don't put it. Three and two. Add it again. Three and two? Five. Very good. Make that a five. All right. Go to number nine. What are you subtracting? 85 take away 54. Go ahead. Tell me what you're subtracting. Say 5 take away 4. 5 take away 4. Yes. 1. And then? 8 take away 5 is 3. Very good. Okay, now you're multiplying in number 10. 30 times 2. Go ahead. Tell us what you're multiplying first. 2 times? 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times Three is six. Very good. Two times zero is zero. Two times three is six. Now you're dividing for number 11. And it's six divided by two. What's six divided by two? Times three. So put three on the, on the answer to the bottom. Three. Three times two is six. Very good. Okay, Sky, we're number 12. And it's a dollar and 25 cents plus a dollar and 43 cents. Go ahead and add it for us, Sky. Tell us what you're adding. Five and three. Five, three. Eight. Very good. Tell us again. What are you adding? Four. What's the answer? Six. All right. Put the point. And? Two. One plus one? Two. Two. Two dollars and sixty-eight cents. Very good. Go to number thirteen. And it's five dollars and forty cents. Take away two dollars and ten cents. Subtract. Tell us what you're subtracting. Zero. Zero. Take away zero. zero. One, four, away four, the number on top. Four, one point. Number on top. So the answer is three dollars and thirty cents. Very good. Now we're doing the fraction. Two oh five plus two oh five. Okay, what do you get when you add two oh five and two oh five? Five. Very good. So you add 2 plus 2 is 4 and keep the 5. They're like fractions, so you keep the 5. So the answer is 4 over 5 because you're adding fifths. Very good. Okay, Sky, read number 15. Draw the line of symmetry Symmetry on the shape. And where will you draw that? In the middle. Go ahead. Very good. And that, that line would divide it in half. So the line of symmetry divides the shape in half, and that's exactly what she did, drawing it straight down the middle. Go to number 16. Find the perimeter. perimeter of the shape. Okay, so you know what perimeter means? Yes, sir. What it means? Add all the sides. Sides. So put in the rest of the sides. That side would be 2 centimeters. That side would be 5. Add them all up. So right on the line, 14, and then put what it is in centimeters, cm, 14 cm. Very good. So she added 5 and 5 is 10 and 2 is 12 and 2 is 14 to get the sides. Go to number 17. Draw the image when you slide this letter. Draw the image when you slide this letter, and it's the letter P. So do you know how you draw it when you slide it, Sky? Yes, sir. How would you draw it? You draw it the same way. Very good. Excellent job, Sky. Okay, Sky, read number 18. In Loud. In grade 3T, add the Garvin. Garvin times, times primary. primary school. There are 14 boys and 16 girls. 
How many more students are girls than boys? Very good. In grade 3 T at the Garvin Times Primary School, there are 14 boys and 16 girls. How many more students are girls than boys? Two. It's two? How do you get that answer, Sky? I take away 16. 14 from 16. So it's 16 take away 14. And then put the answer on the line for me now and put two girls. How many more students are girls than boys? Two girls, two more girls. Okay, so there are two more girls than boys. Very good. Now, look at number 19. Can you read it? Which letter are you more likely to hunt? To land? Land on when you spin this wheel. And let's look at the letters on the wheel. You have B. B, A, B, B, A, and B. Which letter are you more likely to land on? A, B. Put the answer on the line there. Capital B. Very good. Why? Why would you more likely land on B? Because there's more B's than A. Very good, Sky. Okay, Sky, last question now. Read 28, what it says. Write the coordinates for the crab. Excellent. Write the coordinates for the crab and find the crab for me first. Where do you go? When you go to the crab, how are you going to find the coordinates? Say what you're doing. Say what you're doing. Coming down. I'm coming down. Circle the number you get at when you come down. Go down and circle that number. Write that number in first. Write that number in there first at the front. Nine. Next, go to the crab. Where do you go? Go back up to the crab. And you go to the left. Go to the left. Circle that number. Write that number in. So that's the point. Nine, eight. Very good job, Sky. So that's where the crab is at. Now read B. What, which, which picture do you find at seven five? The point seven, seven five. Seven five. Just don't. It isn't a point seven five. So you have to find that point first. So go down to seven. Where you see seven on the on the X, seven on the bottom. Go up until you get to five. Go up until you get to five. Where do you stop? What is at there? Flamingo. You can spell flamingo. No sir. Okay, write it. I'll help you. F L A L A M I N G O O oh, Flamingo. Very good job, Sky. Excellent. Thank you read, for read. thank you for read. watching this video all the way to the end. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share with family and friends. God bless you. See you next time.